we're going to demonstrate the I.O. shaping capabilities of the XMD. Now in this demonstration, I'm using an iPad versus an iPhone to show the latest configuration and user experience that you'll have using an iPad versus a phone. And we're also using an XMD02 utilizing one output with the RBAP proportional relief valve. Now in this setting, we're going to have a simple configuration of a 0 to 5 volt input commanding a 0 to 590 milliamp curve. And that's going to give us more of a linear output or single output, single slope curve. And you can see that using our RBAP valve, it's a very linear output. But I'm going to then show how we can add points and adjust the curve by adjusting the input to output relationships. And I'm going to use the single output custom slope option from our quick setup profiles to kind of give us a good starting point. So you can see just how these quick setups can be utilized uh, in the real world applications and understand what it's going to look like uh, in real-time operation. Now that you'll see is when it goes to the configuration page after loading these, fo these, these configurations, you'll see the input values and your output values on this table. And any one of these additional points can be deleted or a new point can be added. Now this is more of an exponential curve and we run the hysteresis curve here, you can see that it's very similar to the curve that we're drawing. Now, I can also use my touch screen capability with this app, and when I touch a point, you'll see the input value in blue and the output value in orange. Now, by, touch, by using the touch screen, I can create and draw any curve that I would like to use or create. And in doing this, it also changes the values in the left-hand side. When we run this application, you'll see just how, how precise this output can be. Now it is a current regulated output, so we're always constantly reading that current feedback to give us great um, control resolution of Sun's proportional valves. And we'll see here from this hysteresis curve just how repeatable it is. There's really no limit to the operational capabilities of your IO shaping function within the XMD.